there's a moment in your life where you just think enough is enough and you have to do something about it. We came up with this idea to re-green our earth. It's not normal that you try and create a high technology company that's farming millions of insects right in the heart of London. The current production model is broken. It's not working. It's not sustainable. The farms that we have are capable of growing pretty much anything you, you can imagine. We have around 22 different crops. Bananas are different species. Kale, chard, arugula, basil, mint, black soldier flies. Our productivity is extremely high in a small footprint. No fresh water, no feed, no fertilizer, no land which makes it the most sustainable food on the planet. The mere mention of the word logging brings a negative connotation. But what I'm doing here is taking care of nature, taking care of the forest, so that future generations can enjoy it. It's still there, you know. We need to have um, crops and trees living together in the ecosystem. Agroforestry can exist everywhere in the tropical ecosystem around the world. This is one of the solutions to save the forest. We need to use technology to scale up our restoration efforts. And the scale we're talking about is tens of billions of trees every year. It's a new step change in the way that we're thinking about global restoration. To think that you can print the name of a fish on a menu and then demand that from the ecosystem causes those stocks to decline very rapidly. So you can no longer say, I want swordfish or I want tuna, I want salmon, I want shrimp. Um, there's no more I want. For a small society like Palau, fragile environment, very limited uh, resources, very limited opportunities, we have to basically live with the environment, maintaining the balance between harvesting and conserving. You're doing this to benefit your children. You're doing this because you have to think about tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow, and the years coming. We could produce a hundred times the current level of seafood production from offshore aquaculture. successful companies in the 21st century, they really have to be not just making money and doing well, but doing good at the same time. We can use all our innovation and all our ideas to leave this world in a better place than how we found it. Everyone wants to feel that it's possible to do something, and if you've got a real hope story that you can transform, it becomes all possible and something that you can do. I want to show people that green solution works. Now people are starting to say, hey, what if? What else can we do? We're on a crest of a wave and it's all beginning to feel like it's got a real momentum behind it. Which is just mind-blowing that a simple change can have such a big difference.